Inflation draining your wallet? You're not alone. Kevin Cork has more information about what the Federal Reserve is proposing to help combat rising consumer costs and simple tricks you can do to help you save some green. The big issue that we're very focused on is inflation and getting inflation back down to our 2% goal. With inflation at a 40-year high of 8.5%, the Federal Reserve Thursday proposing steep interest rate hikes of roughly 50 points as early as next month. And efforts, say officials, to essentially slow economic growth to combat sky-high inflation. You're effectively saying the economy hasn't changed in 50 years. But some economists say the methods we use to solve these problems date back decades and demand newer solutions that adapt to the evolving marketplace. I don't think the uh, traditional models of monetary policy can do much to affect supply-driven uh, inflationary pressures. Even in the midst of surging prices, federal officials say the economy is still in good shape. We'll have another strong growth year this year. Still, countless Americans are struggling as companies, big and small, raise prices to still make a profit. Nestle, for example, the world's largest food and drink company, just increased the cost of its products by more than 5%. So what can you do to help save yourself some cash? Start by adjusting your spending habits in areas most affected by inflation, like food and energy. We tend to be pretty meat heavy in our diet in the United States. So thinking about maybe cutting back a little bit on that category. Economists also warn against hoarding items in case prices continue going up. Panic buying only creates higher demand for products, and that, of course, will drive costs up even more. I'm Kevin Cork, Fox News.